Thanks for joining me here at CalCon Media. I'm Rose Jacobs. Many young Australians are getting increasingly aware of financial stability in life, especially in times of skyrocketing inflation. It becomes imperative for younger investors to protect the purchasing power of money and create a corpus that can help them retire much easier. Although younger investors are more inclined to splash out on luxuries and memorable experiences, myself included, Merely scrambling to stay ahead on rent or pay bills is not enough. There are numerous investment options to choose from in today's world, ranging from very basic to highly complex instruments. However, younger investors are increasingly taking a liking to some specific investment options. Let's have a look at three of the most popular ones. First on the list is equities. History has proven that equities are by far the best investment option available to investors and and there are so many reasons for it. Although you do need to possess some skills to screen out profitable investment opportunities in the stock market, it's not rocket science. Equities alone could be enough to generate a good chunk of fortune. Second on the list is cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies have become massively popular in the last couple of years. Many youngsters are getting swept by the craze for cryptos, which can deliver massive gains in a relatively short period. However, before investing, you must understand all the risks involved in cryptos such as heightened volatility, frequent security lapses, resulting in crypto theft and much more. And last on the list is P2P lending. Peer-to-peer, -peer, that is P2P lending, can be understood as an individual getting a loan directly from another individual without the interference of any bank or financial institution. P2P lending is becoming increasingly popular among young Aussies. They can earn a decent interest over the lending period, which is generally higher than what a bank gives on a savings account. Also, platforms such as Plenty, Harm Money and many more have made the entire process much easier and more convenient. One thing to note is that this type of lending generally doesn't involve any guarantees or collateral and therefore is risky. So the bottom line is any investment options are available for Aussie residents such as equities, bonds, commodities, P2P lending, cryptocurrencies and more. Every option has its own risk return profile and every investor must take that into account before investing. And for any more info you can take a look at the website calcimedia.com. I'm Rose Jacobs. Thank you again for joining me.